I wasn't sure uh, so about the, the whole thing. Did about it take a time. lot of time to convince you? Let's not go there. But uh, <laughs> first, let's get clarity that we yeah. ask question for one and a half hours. Okay. Then these fights what, what happen. What we see is the business you just, questions exactly. get edited out. And add to the stress on. Wherever you know. he is not able to sleep next day morning, he calls them for breakfast. <laughs> <laughs>
in Delhi, Bimal and Sony team came. That was the first time. I think then they came to my house once. So, uh, I wasn't sure uh, so about the, the whole thing. Did about it take a time. lot of time to convince you? Let's not go there. But uh, <laughs> so, the reality is the first day when the first day was shot, really, then I have gone through five pitches or six pitches. I had not signed the agreement till then. So, I signed the agreement after shooting for day one. <laughs> <laughs> because I wasn't sure about it. But then, you know, I never thought it will be this big. I never thought what it would mean to be on this side of the table. Mm -hmm. I've just been a very, very uh, obsessive watcher, you know, viewer of Shark Tank. And so, yeah, I think it's just the series of events have happened. So I would like to ask all of you uh, addressing the elephant in the room. Uh, you know, we've been reading stuff like, uh, why don't we have any investors uh, as a shark? Uh, and and uh, uh, people are also writing stuff like why are the loss making companies uh, founders made uh, to be, or, you know the the sharks of the show so how are you taking that and you know how are you like what are your views on that i think uh, my view is uh, firstly we have a lot of profitable businesses already we run many businesses older codes are already profitable generating huge cash flows and then new businesses where we are investing in i think when uh, i read uh, a post like that i think uh, it deserves a lot more, you know, uh, attention on detail uh, versus, you know, just ROC numbers. I personally feel you have to differentiate what's the capital being used for scale and what is the capital uh, generation which is eventually going to come a few years later because of that capital infusion. Because everything that we put in has to have IRR and that's how I, return on capital is going to be the most important part for any investor, any entrepreneur. And that's when you actually create value. What I think probably I would recommend, you know, people how they should look at it is you know, how much company has raised and what valuation it has gained. That multiple may probably defi better define on how, what is the uh, return on capital invested so far and what is the cash in the bank, reduce uh, that from that. I think that will maybe give a better picture to, you know, the people reading uh, how they should perceive whether it was a good use of capital or not. Having said that, I think I don't probably get disturbed after reading all this uh, personally because I think I've been like a solid business, going to go IPO this year and I think we'll take a profitable company out. Uh, what about you Piyush? Uh, what are your thoughts on people talking about why no VCs uh, on the panel? It's not my decision. You know, I didn't decide who should be on the panel. Uh, I would like to produce the show for sure because I think it is doing the well. most profitable. <laughs> 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 but, uh, uh, it's a great show in that sense. But right, see the way I see it is that you know, log logo ka hak hai, you know, apna feedback dena, unka jo view hai, aur wo to chalega. It's true for any business, right? Or any brand, service. Chaa Honda ki gaadi le lo, to uske bhi positive views honge, negative views honge. Aap lens card ka chashma le lo, uske bhi positive honge, negative. We have to just keep observing what people are feeling and what needs to be imbibed as a feedback. I think as far as I see, ye Sony ka kaam hai. Mera kaam hai, unhone bola hai, shark bano. Mujhe bhi maza aara hai, mein kar raho. Invest kar raho. Jab bole hai, nahi banna hai, to nahi banna hai. Ab is mein itna time hi nahi hai ki, uh, I didn't even know ki actually ye criticism chal raha hai. Uh, uh, my bad. 2023 uh, started on a very sad note. Uh, we saw 91 companies laying off uh, 24,000 employees. Uh, there's a lot of tech meltdown and global downturn. So, you know, how are you guys justifying your uh, investments in these startups? I think 2021, everybody's accepted, has been a uh, you know, disproportionate year in terms of the amount of funding that's I mean I think it was like 40 billion or something was the amount that got invested um, during that year compared to and which was like 40 50 times what happens every year uh, so I feel that you know there is like it the kind of uh, um, because access to capital became very easy, uh, it's at the end of the day a demand supply thing when the supply of cash is so much uh, entrepreneurs see it as an opportunity to raise at a better valuation and you know in India traditionally uh, businesses haven't been able to get very rich valuation because the access to capital has been limited. Uh, so I think a lot of businesses uh, you know took advantage of that and uh, I think as entrepreneurs it is uh, important for us to dilute as less as possible and if there is 
um, capital that is available uh, at a cheaper rate, then you know uh, it is you know many times many companies uh, did a fundraise uh, in 2021 just because it was available. Um, now I feel a lot of companies would have to grow into that valuation, and uh, but I feel that uh, it is a good thing that uh, you know now over the next couple of years it's drying up a bit, so it will um, ensure that uh, there is you know that that entire uh, there is opportunity for all these companies to grow into that valuation. The demand from the consumer side is still fantastic, so I feel that what whoever used that cash well uh, to invest in growth, to mm. invest in a better product, to invest uh, in uh, figuring out profitability will now be able to use those next uh, 10, 20 years. We, you know, I hope this cycle ends uh, in the next two, three years, but we don't know how long it'll take. Mm. Uh, but whoever has done a good job of uh, using that money carefully uh, will now be able to invest in uh, growth uh, because now next two three years I think it's going to be harder to raise money. Um, as an investor, I feel that in 2022, uh, whatever investments we've done uh, have been at a much better valuation. It's been easier. 2021 as an investor was tougher, uh, but I feel these cycles keep coming and going over and over and over. And I feel it's the most important uh, rule of the game is that uh, you know the consumer uh, should be ready to pay you for your service, and it should be possible for your business to eventually churn out profit. Coming to your investments in Shark Tank India, you know, what are the top three criteria that you consider while investing in any company which are non-negotiable for you? Like you, those boxes have to be ticked. Peace of mind. <laughs> First is that, you know, we should be able to sleep peacefully at night with this investment. We are not going to have a, you know, uh, yeah. you know it's not going to add to the stress on... Wherever you know, he's not able to sleep next day morning, he calls them for breakfast. Now, eventually you have to feel that you, I'll enjoy with this entrepreneur going in. But but if you have a lot you know, you know, you have a larger responsibility to manage your own business. You don't, um, or the vision of the company, or you don't feel excited about it. Leave aside the returns. Then I think uh, I would not invest. And I would also invest if I feel. So, that's an important criteria. The rest are logical criteria. Okay, well, what do you think? I check the value system of the founder for sure. Uh, I, I love to see, you know, hungry founders, fighter, which, you know, uh, you know, what to do. So, I love to see integrity levels high. And I also try to find a spark in the founder. What is his super power? Which means he may be really good at digital marketing, distribution, offline, anything. And when I see that spark, I try to match it to the numbers that he finally puts in, you know, unit economics. Whether that spark is reflecting in what he's actually doing right on the ground. I love, you know, founders connected to ground and having a deep consumer connect. Uh, reading all the feedbacks, you know, understanding what the problem with the product is. So that level of depth, definitely I enjoy to invest in such founders. There are two cohorts in which I probably love to invest. One is, you know, that can make a lot of money uh, early stage tech companies, you know, other kind of assets that can multiply. There are also assets I have invested in which will not become 10x or 100x maybe. But, and they're good profitable assets, so they're not bad assets. <clears throat> but from exit perspective, they may not be the best choices. But I still want to do those because I think a lot of people who are watching the show, crores of them can relate to the people standing here. And through them, I'm trying to send a message that if they are investable, you can start your own now. So this is, you know, fundamentally, I, I always ask a lot of mathematical unit economic questions. I have to see how much money is involved in day-to-day. Because you don't have to see CM1-2 in technical terms. It's a very good thing. It's made so much money, it's made so much money, it's made so much marketing, it's made so much money. It's a very good thing to know about day-to-day business. So I know the guy is hands-on into the business. So I love to see that, you know, hands-on connect on the business also when I see. And then obviously, the vision of the founder is equally critical on how large he wants to build. But I, what I'm saying is that he may not build very large, but I'll still invest to inspire people. That's my approach at least. So uh, first, of course, entrepreneur is the most important and that I think is mostly a gut decision. Uh, the other two generally things which are important, but they are not no-goes are uh, one is that, you know, market, uh, even if it's not large, is it growing or declining? So general trend is that, you know, 10 years, 20 years down the line, Will it become, is there potential for it to become uh, very large, even if it is small right now? Uh, and the second is that, you know, whether it's profitable or loss making, that's one thing. But uh, gross margin 
you know is important i think because there's then there is a road to profitability because eventually of course it's important that uh, you know any business uh, once they uh, the amount that uh, you've decided to invest in growth uh, that period uh, is over they have to be profitable so is there a road to profitability for which the easiest uh, indication is the gross margin so that's broadly what i and also vinita you invested in uh, what 15 startups uh, in the last season and 25 in this one and uh, most wow. of them are uh, you're stalking me <laughs> <laughs> stalked all of you in and out so uh, you know most of them were loss making as as we uh, spoke earlier so why did you decide to so take I, a bet I, on I, like i said you know again yes. there is is you know what this covers this time uh I am actually you know like I mentioned it is about I feel that you know when you have good a good gross margin you have good unit economics which means per order per consumer you're making money uh, then how much you invest in growth and marketing is a switch and uh, it you know depending on what is the kind of cash in bank runway you can flip the switch but fundamentally you know brand business is the good thing which is like these consumer brands that people are building which is probably 80 90% of my portfolio uh it you know the value doesn't go down to zero uh if you turn the switch off there is still there like a bit of brand love repeat that happens uh and i feel I, and i've seen this play out uh where you you invest in growth you know when you're doubling tripling um, you know there are some losses but when you decide to uh, uh you know when you keep bringing down marketing is a percentage of revenue right so over a period of time you start with 40 50% you bring it down to 10 12% where large fmcg companies are at and then you are you know very profitable because of course uh, at the end of the day uh, if you want to do like even shoot a good looking campaign for youtube uh you have to invest in production right now that as a percentage of your revenue will become very high when you're small but as you scale it becomes a smaller percentage you know path to prof in early stage businesses what is the expectation do you think that you will start an early stage business or what day one say profitable hoga to fir sabko business hi kar lena chahiye kuch to gestation period lagega you have you if you only look at profit and i know there is a conversation in tank also a lot of times kya uh you know profit non profitable business it depends on the stage of the business what are they trying to build agar aap koi tech solution bana rahe ho r&d bana rahe ho koi medical solution so it takes time where are you spending and burning the money it matters more than whether you are actually burning the money and what are the other key assets you know usps you have built in the business and also you know given the current market situation uh, you know you guys are investing in these startups uh, at shark tank india while also taking care of your own businesses so how are you balancing the both i feel that uh, you know firstly uh, this the investments that we do uh, in shark tank uh, i mean i think it's important to uh, put all of us have figured out somebody who can actually be more focused on it so that we can stay focused on our uh, business uh, i do feel that uh, it's important to ensure that our businesses keep scaling because our ability to actually invest here is coming from the uh, value that we're creating in our businesses so i i think uh, you know just like they ask women this question that uh, you have a family and you have a business how do you manage both I feel that this question that you have your own business and you have some angel investments how do you manage both is sort no, of underestimating actually, no, the person's ability uh, a to a little uh, bring <laughs> you a little back I I meant in the current market situation you know you're putting in money and while also running your own business is what I meant I think all of our businesses are fairly capitalized so hmm. they are not reliant I mean if I were to invest in sugar to scale it i would never have enough money because at the scale which sugar is for instance so i feel that uh, luckily we are capitalized and it's not dependent on our personal capital for further growth um so yeah so there is it's you know that capital constraint is not there and uh, of course these are very long term bets so it's you know one of those things which you would have otherwise invested in real estate or equity markets mm-hmm. which you're instead investing in uh, you know individual uh, business So basically Shark Tank India is a reality business show. So who are your viewers uh, you know are they startup owners or, or business owners or, or are the people who are watching uh, Big Boss are all also your viewers so you know who are your is uh, kids in the 5 to 15 year age bracket. I think they are really enjoying this show and everywhere I go um even if I meet parents right the first line I hear is my son my daughter is a big fan of shark tank wo din bhar yahi dekhte hain and they have a lot of questions even when i visit a lenskart store the only thing that 
our customers talk to us about is their children. So I think that 5 to 15 is a very, very big segment. The second, which I don't think we anticipated or I anticipated, and one of the biggest reasons why I still do the show is because this segment is uh, is very promising in the sense that it just feels good. Like I was at a lens card store two days back, right? And there was this, um, uh, you know, visitor and she said, my daughter told me that she would only come to lens card store if I will, and she was hardly uh, six, seven years old, if I will get to meet Piyush Bansal there. And it was just ironical that I was at that store at that time and she's like, this is, and she made me wait at the store for 15, 20 minutes, uh, called her uh, dadi, uh, the girl's dadi got her to the store and I, you know, she met me and this girl was just six, and, you know, and the inspiration that they're getting from the show. So I think that is the most important segment of the show. Then I think there's a lot of people, like I can tell you, uh, 60 plus segment is also very, uh, you know, key watching show because they are watching this show. They've been, India has had a lot of entrepreneurs, mm -hmm. right? Any trader, anybody who's doing any kind of business, they have never seen mm -hmm. business run this way. They've never really valued their businesses. They don't understand, but there, it, there is an interest, right? And there is a lot of free time also on hand when you're at that age. So that I think is a very, very powerful audience uh, for the show. Baki to sab hai, jo entrepreneurs hai, jo kaam kar rahe ho, dekhe, mujhe lagta hai, ye do core segments, middle se zada, ye do no bhoat exciting segments hai. We grew up watching super hit Mukabla. Just think about what this generation is going to grow up yeah, becoming. You know, it's going to be phenomenal. I met, I met a seven-year-old that day and he told me I have a business idea where I will take out, wow. uh, I will take out minerals from this other part of the world, which is rich in minerals and export it yeah. to other part. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> and that gets me back to the same question you know, celebrity wala jo pucha tha, celebrity. reality, mein, agar aap dukho, pehle Bollywood was, you know, the fame. Ab ke entrepreneurs, you know, role models ban rahe for the children. I think that ab hero bilkul top ke bahut thodi ban payenge country mein. Par entrepreneur bahut saare ban sakte hain. The good part is ki now at least the role models that are emerging through this show well, everybody can become the same. The what I'm thinking is everybody can be the, that hero in their own life. Now that's possible. I think changing the role models to move the country, I think that's a beautiful sign. Right. I have a lot many questions to ask, but we are running out of time. But uh, thank you so much for joining us today and uh, sharing so much information.